like this video and you want to see more. Today we're doing a discovery, well, three in one kit. Bounce, there's uh, glowing bouncy balls, there's glowing slime, and there's uh, an ex a glow in the dark explosion art. So you can see it's inside of that. Cool. Then, well, let's get cracking. How about we start with the bouncy balls? Okay, so we opened it up, it's actually pretty easy to open, and uh, so we got a poster like we did in our volcano video, and it uh, has tons of facts on it, there's also the cybers on French, and um, there's all this stuff, there's, I think this is a nasty ball mold, this is blue. Oh, this is glow in the dark paint. Question. That is the bounce of Okay. And this is glow in the dark glue, so I'm guessing we're using this to make the slime. So, like, combine these together. And there's a cup more. Oh, this is just plain paint. Uh, this is citric acid. I can't remember which video it was, but we had to use citric acid. It was pretty hard to find. Fine, yeah. This is cornstarch. This is baking soda. And uh, gave us a popsicle stick with a bag and a bag. More glow in the dark blue. Here's the powder to put in the bowl. Yeah, there's so there's green, white, and orange powder. As you saw in the box, you could probably mix them up. Mix the colors up, like see, like that. So I'm probably gonna do a couple like that. But first, let's get all the garbage out of the way. Okay, so now we're gonna dunk the crystals in. As you can see, we're using green and orange, so we're gonna try and make a green slash orange ball. So I'm gonna try pour mine in very carefully and then leave some room for the orange one. There's holes in this thing, so it's coming out, but not all of it. See, some of it's coming out, right there. Oh, and carefully pour it in. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, now Owen, you're going to go and you're going to you will kiss. Yeah. So you put that in there. And then you just dunk it in the water. And hold it there. There we go. Now, now you can let go. Put it sitting there. So we don't need to hold it anymore. So now the instructions say it will take about 5 to 10 more minutes to set. And then we can take the ball out. And hopefully it will be shaped like a ball. In the meantime, do you want to make some glow in the dark slime? Sure. So what you need is cornstarch, two sticks of glue that it gives you, and, and a mixing bowl, and a cup of water. Well, that pretty much already looks like new black. It is already black. I'd say that's enough. Okay, I just added some, a uh, few glue squirts, and so now we're just gonna mix it up and see if it actually glows in the dark. Okay, so now we're gonna try to I'm gonna put this over here, and then grab a flashlight, and we're just gonna hold it up on it for uh, like 30 seconds. Okay, so we're right now we're here in the pan and we're gonna test if this thing actually glows or if we should add more glow in the dark blue. And we're wearing our goggles just in case it and explodes. Okay, so it's completely dark right now. Uh, I don't think you can see, but it is kind of glowing. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of dark green glowing. So yeah, I think we need to add more glow in the dark blue. With way more glow stuff and sunlight. Okay, well the the slime 
wasn't bad. At least we know it actually glows. So while we're waiting for the bulb to dry, we took it out of the water. We're gonna do the eruption. So we're basically doing all three of them. Okay, so now we're gonna do the explosion part. So we, so as you've seen, we put the citric acid and the baking soda in. And let's just hope. Okay, so now that that's in there, we need to dump a bunch of water in it and then it should explode. Well, it should fizz and start trying to explode. Trying to close it. I'm holding it closed by myself. Ah, it's it's spinning. It's spinning all over the place. Oh, oh yeah, this is cool. Oh, there's a hole right here. I'm trying to close it. It feels cold because it said to feel the temperature. It feels really cold. Yeah. I think it's because of the chemicals. I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to close it. I think we should add more water, and it's probably. So now we're gonna see if it glows in the dark. Oh, uh, there's a bit. It's there's a bit here. of it. There's a bit on the corner. Right but here. not soon. I don't think you can see it. It looks so cool here. It looks so pretty. Yeah, all different colors. Now that we finished doing all three, while the ball's still drying, I think we could mess around with the bag some more. I was thinking we could add cornstarch and make it like slime like we did with this. Wait, Grayson. Yeah? I'm not sure if it's done, but I'm pretty sure it's done. It's done. The ball's done. Is it sticky? No. Oh. Okay, we're going to try and chip the ball out. And then we'll do the cornstarch in that bag afterwards. Okay, so we put some more in. And as you can see, it's spitting it out the top and the bag is filling up with air and fizz. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't think you need paint for this at all. I think the paint is just for style, but all you need is citric acid, baking soda, water, and a bag, and definitely not your kitchen table. So this kit is really fun. Uh, so in this video we made blue black, which is now pretty dry and solid, but still works as slime. We made an exploding bag, which is now basically a giant orange water. And we made a bouncy ball, which actually bounces, but it glows in the dark, but if you put the like all green, it'll, it'll light up uh, better because it is uh, the green stuff is the only stuff that lights up. So if you put all green in, then it will look way better. I didn't know it could bounce. Yeah, here, why don't you show me that it can bounce? Yeah, so it definitely can bounce. And uh, yeah, this was a great toy to play with if you're ever bored on a snowy day. Thank you for watching.